Pratibha, take us to the rescue operations taking place. The death toll seems to be mounting as uh, uh, rescue operations still underway. More bodies being pulled out. That's right. The rescue operation is still underway with respect to the defense teams as well as the forest officials trekking upwards towards uh, uh, the other side that are far-flung areas that we are talking of inside the forest uh, further up from uh, Mepadi where the landslides first occurred and that's the epicenter that we're talking of. And uh, that's exactly where uh, they've been trying to see if they could find survivors. In fact, luckily early this morning they did find a few tribals there with uh, four children there who were uh, taken to a safer location for uh, rehabilitation and treatment here. I'm outside uh, this hospital, Dr. Mopin's Medical College, and uh, this is the hospital that saw a lot of uh, hurried activities on the day when the landslides occurred, at least around 140 uh, people who were brought in here, including uh, around uh, uh, 12 dead bodies that were brought in here. But of course, uh, the doctors divided themselves into several teams to try and see how they could uh, look at uh, several of the survivors and uh, uh, designate them into different uh, teams and uh, uh, the teams were taking care of each of them. And we did hear a lot of uh, uh, details in terms of the kind of treatment that was uh, given to them uh, while we spoke to the medical superintendent here at the hospital who was talking about how this was the first time that they saw patients coming in with a lot of mud and slush all over their body, inside their lungs and uh, several other organs. And it needed an internal wash and an external wash. And that was something that people have never seen or treated before. And it was quite challenging in terms of taking this up as as uh, one of the most uh, uh, priority measures of uh, all the doctors here and uh, several of them who are in the ICU have survived this tragedy and that has definitely been one of the most uh, miraculous ones. In fact, there was also a case study of uh, some of the doctors who came in from uh, Odisha and they were here at a homestay there which was completely washed out and of the four doctors there, two of them survived the tragedy but the other two lost their lives to this and one of them is still missing thing is what we hear. A very, very famous nurse from uh, in Kerala here in uh, Wayanad and uh, she has also been missing and several of the medical fraternity are uh, in one of the most uh, distressing moods at this point in time to know that that famous nurse is still missing, her body is still missing there. So several such horror tales that we get to hear uh, a distressing as well as uh, extremely uh, anguishing set of tales that we hear here as they recount each of those. Many of them who have lost their families, many of the doctors too who have lost their families these are some of the things that uh, they cannot really forget at this point in time and these are the stories that we hear from Vyanar. While uh, rescue and relief happens to be one of the main uh, priorities here, not just with respect to the teams that are working on it, but also with respect to the volunteers who have been relentlessly supplying relief materials to the hospitals, to uh, the accident site and uh, to other places, the relief camps as well. So these are the kind of activities that uh, we see at Wayanad at this point in time. Politics aside, this is uh, the resilient attitude of uh, Wayanad and Kerala that we bring to you here.